Hey guys, my name is RJ and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be something new, so keep watching. Hi and welcome to another video. Okay, so obviously at the beginning I did say I was bringing something new and I realised that many of you will probably sit there and say that you've already seen this, uh, it's not new, uh, and, but basically what I meant by saying that is that it's new to my channel. This is something that I've actually been using for quite a while but I've never done a video on it and I've never even discussed it. So uh, basically I was using this a lot uh, for quite some time and then I just sort of stopped using it I probably didn't you I probably not used it for f five or six months and I had another look at it uh, last night and I sort of went through it and I got back into using it uh, and I do think it's something that a lot of you are going to enjoy especially if you like things like hip bits and Satoshi labs uh, it's basically uh, social mining it's a virtual mining but like hitbits it has sort of like a sort of a role play fantasy feel to it but what i'm going to show you today is basically uh how to get this your account set up and then i'm only going to show you what you need to know to build coins build your account and earn earn your crypto there are other areas of the program you can go and explore yourself such as the mini games um the markets all those kind uh those kind of things uh the trading cards although i might mention them because they are useful in one sense um but i say that's what we're focusing on today is just because like hip bits this program has a lot of things you can do but don't really need to do. They, they they can earn you a bit of coin. They can earn you uh, a bit of energy and stuff like that. But they're not. Uh, they, for me, they're not essential. And personally, you know, looking at this game, I think this is probably where Hitbits got their idea from. Uh, so anyway, uh, the first thing that I have to say is this site does tend to have a few irritating uh, pop-ups so if uh, you've not got one already get yourself a pop-up blocker extension for your Chrome browser or Brave browser you're br using the Brave browser is probably better on this site uh, because um, it helps block a lot of stuff anyway but firstly what you want to do is you want to look for this pop go and get this pop-up blocker from Chrome so if you go into your drop-down go to extensions and then basically this is the pop-up blocker you're looking for to um, to get hold of that basically what you need to be doing is clicking on web store so you click on here and then in here just right in just write pop up. Don't even write pop up blocker. Just write pop up. Hit enter, and then that is the first one in the list. Get that pop up blocker, and then that is going to help eliminate a lot of the annoying pop ups. Okay. So the next thing uh, we need to do is go and log in. Okay, so when you first log in with Brave Browser, you will get this blue banner across the screen. So what you want to be doing with that is all you want to do is disable the Brave ba uh, Brave uh, sort of uh, blocker, but you're only block. You're only um, you're only okay. So by turning that, you're only turning it off for the main site. But where we need it active, uh, and it will become active, is when we go and do the, um, basically, because now and again, every every half an hour, you have to prove yourself you're not a robot. And if you don't have the Brave Browser or uh, an ad blocker or a pop-up blocker, uh, when you go and do that, you will get 
these annoying pop-ups as well so you have to keep closing them down but having this setup will prevent that also as well you'll get this every now and again if you've got the pop-up blocker that I've just told you to go and get right click on your mouse and click remove overlay that will get rid of it and then go remove always and that will it will flash up but it will automatically remove itself so again that is something that um, just stops the site being a little bit uh, annoying because <laughs> it is actually a really good program but obviously those little things uh, can sort of get a little tedious uh, so what we're doing is we're trying to eliminate those so as you can see here beat the anti wear so we have to do this so we click this okay so once you've clicked that you'll come to this uh, you'll come to this page and just click I'm not a robot use this click you get like 300 of these you only get a hundred of them and the these shortest ones are so much easier because uh, the brave browser will take care of all the ba banners and stuff like that so all you get is the the banner at the top uh, that you that's all you have to click on okay so we click there and this is all you're going to get so in five seconds so basically this whole page is clear because of using the brave browser if normally without the pop-up blocker if I click this where it says skip this ad a, another page will open but by clicking that you go straight back to uh, the site uh, and you can just basically get on with your uh, basically playing the game oh you see that thing popped up then it's gone again okay so that's what I say so those two things like I could say if you don't have brave browser either go and get brave browser or just go and get a really good ad killer uh, for your Chrome browser and hopefully like I say you will need to disable it for the main site but then uh, it, it will remain enabled for any other sites you visit so it will <clears throat> like you've just seen help um, with that uh, because like I say after a while it does get a bit annoying but like I say anyway right so what we're going to be so that is now set up so now when you come in the main things that you want to be looking at when you first come in is okay so as we know it's a, this is a virtual mining site so as a standard as a standard uh, free member you can mine Bitcoin, Doge, or Litecoin. As a Premier member, you can mine six coins. But there is a way to earn these coins without being a Premium member. As you can see, I've got 466 Dash, uh, 1,117 Ethereum, and 89 Bitcoin Cash. But I am not a Premium member. So we're going to get into that in just a second. Okay, so out of these three coins, the best one to mine is basically the Litecoin. How do we know that? If you look at the top here, it will say what each one will earn you in an hour. So obviously, in one hour, you can earn nearly 10 million Satoshis. So for those of you that want to go that route, uh, that's cool, you know. Doge, which is funny because Doge is always the normally of any of these sites, Doge is always the fallback because we know it is really easy to mine. On this site, in one hour, you're not even getting one coin. So Doge is basically just a no no because you're spending, um, uh, well, crystals, these crystals which we have to earn. Because I, as you can see, I'm on level 11. So to mine, I have to every time I want to mine, I have to spend 11 crystals. So there's no point in spending 11 of your crystals uh, for that. It's just not worth it. So I basically just always mine Litecoin. Obviously, I've got 315 Bitcoin or 315 Satoshi's. That is, it'd be nice if that was 315 Bitcoin. <laughs> so 315 Satoshi's. So, um, so that, like I say, that essentially that's not even one Satoshi, 
but like I say, with the, this, I mean, obviously they they sort of must be pushing you that way because with this you can earn 136 on Litecoin. So what we do is we just click mine. Okay, so this is one of the first things you'll do when you come into your account because, okay, so we can click close. Also as well, with those banners that pop up the top there, when you click close on them, if you don't have your Brave Browser or uh, Ad Killer or Pop-Up Blocker, you now and again will get extra pages pop up which you'll have to close. So again, it's a good reason to have your Pop-Up Blocker. Okay, so we're mining. As I'm on level 11 uh, and my hashing power is at that point, um, I actually get two hours worth of mining. When you guys first start your accounts, you I think you only get an hour or an hour and a half. I'm not 100% sure. Also as well, before I forget, do remember that all links for this video will be in the description. So uh, just go and check that out. And obviously as well, uh, my Twitter and my Facebook accounts are there. So they give you two other ways of getting in touch with me. My Facebook will give you a direct messaging service to me. If you want to ask any questions or anything to do with any of these programs, uh, get yourself to my Facebook and basically send me a message. Okay, so the next thing you, that you want to be doing after you've sorted out your mining is if you have any quests, go and claim those because these will give you extra points, uh, sometimes uh, power, coins, all those kind of things. Okay, so in quests, so you get, you get, as you can see here, as you can see here, you get basically different points for different uh, achieving different goals and uh, my what I'm earning is only going to be the mining quests jobs quests and uh, no yeah so it's just those two the mining quests and the jobs quests I do not get into missions I don't don't get into any of this but like I say if you want to go and check that out you can uh, but like I say it's not essential for earning coins okay so what we're going to do is we're going to get Fight by claiming this, we're gonna get a magical chest. Uh, I believe I already have two that are ready to open, so uh, you can go. We can go and check those out in a sec and see what is in those. There you go. See that one? It it blocked a page there. You see, so it is worth getting. And like I say, it just keeps the game flowing, and you're not gonna have to keep uh, switching off and closing um, pages. Okay, so. The next thing we want to go and check out, so we'll go back to mine the mining room. So we, we're sort of back at our starting point. So we've we've uh, checked our quests, uh, and then basically what the next thing you want to do is go and check our crates or our our. Uh, so we, yeah, so we've checked checked our quests. So now we're going to go and check our crates. Okay, so I've got two that are ready to open, and then. So we can see uh, what we're gaining in those. Okay, so it says it. So we've got these two to open, and then we've got this to unlock. So if we just click unlock, it will take 50. If you notice there, it will take 50 crystals to open that um, that chest. So you might have started to realise crystals are very important to this game. So that is something that you have to keep. Uh, up uh, in because also there's you need them for mining you need them to open crates you need to go and you need them to do your jobs uh, and all those kind of things so crystals are very very important okay so let's open these and see what cool stuff we have inside okay so we just click on the chest so we've got we have got 95 crystals in that chest, so that's a good point. 81 crypto coins, four skill points, so that's brilliant. Two energy, which is also really good. Uh, cards, I'm is not that great. Uh, more cards, more cards, more cards, more cards, uh, and we've got game tokens. Okay, so and more cards and more cards. Uh, hey, we got a trade token so that is really good because this is something else I, I can now show you 
that I wasn't going to. Okay, so, wow, wow, we've got lots of stuff in there. Okay, so let's open the next one. Okay, so again we click on it, so we've got 15 crystals there. 100 coins, more skill points, more energy, because the energy is what we use to mine. So energy is another really important thing. Cards, 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 cards. Okay, <laughs> right. As you see, lots of cards. So these and these chests do take a while to open. So this, you, if you have hacker keys, you can open them straight away or sometimes you can spend crystals or coins to open them straight away personally i'll just say leave them because the crystals your coins your hacky keys all come in more use later on and it doesn't matter when you open these crates yes they do give you uh, certain things like the crystals the energies all that kind of stuff but they can wait for two hours okay right so again what I'm going to do is, so from here, okay, we won't go back to the beginning, but from here, the next thing that you need to be doing every day is going into your daily bonus. So you click on your daily bonus, and it's basically like a, a calendar, okay? So we blocked another page, so that's good. Uh, so, and also as well, your your multiplier will go up one every single day you come in here so if you miss a day i believe it goes back to zero but it might only drop one point i'm not 100 percent sure does this say uh come every day claim your daily value uh multiply it will increase every day uh you claim till the end of each month okay but like i say if you don't come back i'm not sure uh, that it either goes to zero or you lose one. Anyway, so let's claim our daily prize. So what have we got? Okay, so we've got 0 0.6 energy. We had 0 0.3 energy yesterday. We got 0 0.6 energy today. So that's good because, again, energy is good. Okay, so close that. Right, so the next place we need to go I realize this is probably not coming across as, as sort of free-flowing as uh, a lot of my normal videos but basically like I say I don't I didn't I don't want to get into the whole site because there's so much on this site I only want to bring you the stuff that you need to know to make this program work and for you to earn free coins and mine crypto okay so the next thing we need to be doing um, actually, the next thing I'll make you aware of is withdrawals. So we'll go into withdrawals. I haven't done any withdrawals yet. As I, you can see there, I'm on level 11. You must reach level 15 in able to withdraw. And I'm telling you this now because obviously a lot of people might think, oh, I don't want to wait that long. So, you know, because uh, I realize that and it's understandable. Some people just want a program. You can go in, you can uh, do a few bits, and then just leave it. Uh, and you don't have the time to be coming in every day, or you don't have the time, you know, to be spending an hour or so in here, whatever. Um, so I'm just making you aware of that now. But like I say, you should still check it out because you might realize after this video. So basically keep watching the video and you might realize at the, by the end of it, you think, actually, yeah, I can do that. So anyway, right. So the next thing we need to be doing is we're going to go and do our jobs. Basically, when this um, when this first started up, you used to have uh, the, the the whole site has been revamped in in a really good way from when it first started, uh, and they've changed a few bits. And it, it, I think it's brilliant. I think it works really well. So anyway, so what we'll do is, in fact, before we go into jobs, we'll go to skills because we earned a load of skill points uh, from our magic chests or crates. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm on level two. I'm on level two of programming, level two hacking, level two cryptography. So 
The next level for level 3, I need 9 skill points for each one. I have 10, so what I'm going to do is I am going to upgrade my programming to level 3. So there you go. So we're and, and also by doing that, you earn 27 experience. Your experience is this number here. Once you get to 100% of your experience, <clears throat> excuse me, you will go up to the next level. Okay, so experience is really good because obviously like all role playing games, basically the more experience you get, the, the higher level that you become. Whether you're a warrior, a mage, uh, you know, a wizard, whatever, uh, all those things, uh, obviously for us we're just a... Uh, a little minor, uh, but you can actually change these avatars. Go and pick whatever you want. Um, I just left it ha him, and um, but yes, getting experience is good. Okay, so we've upped that to level three. We've spent our skill points, and then what we do is we go to jobs. Okay, so as you can see here I should have I, I did this this morning before I was actually thinking about doing a video so basically when you come in here every day it will say you have well I'm not sure if it's to do with my level but I'm I currently get four hours and I think it's 39 30 minutes four and a half hours of work time but this is not don't worry this is not four and a half hours in the real world this is that is not that is four and a half hours in the game but you but basically when you um do any of the these are the three jobs okay so basically you've got crystal expedition which i always do i always do crystal expedition because you need crystals for mining you need crystals for opening crates you need crystals for so many things so that is one i always do the crypto coins they do come in handy uh which i'll and i'll get into that later but they're not massively essential they're mainly used in things like the uh, world missions uh, and stuff like that but they are handy they do come in handy for other things but the crystals and this is also your cryptocurrencies so this is where you get your premium coins from I these are two I'll always do I'll only do the coins if I start running low but as you saw with the crates that we opened we get coins in there anyway so just like I say unless you start running really low um, I would advise only to do the crystal expedition and only to do the work for currencies okay so I left these two that are I done these two and then you can see what uh, I'm getting okay so the other thing as well to remember there's so obviously I realized there is a lot to remember but you also get energy the maximum is 110 but if you are if you're given energy um, if you're given energy for uh, like I say from opening those crates you that will be added on but once you use all that energy up when it rebuilds itself it will only rebuild itself to 110 um, and but then like I say any extra will be added on to that until it's used okay so what I do basically is for my four hours I will come in here and I will do I will I mean you can do it however you want you got four hours so you can do you could or well, four and a half hours so what you could do is you could do the crystal expedition for two hours the cryptocurrency for two hours and then you could do work for crypto coins for half an hour, uh, and then and but the re the reason why, uh, but what I do is I do an hour for this, an hour for this, and then and basically so I and and I'll just have this. What I do is basically I do this. I put uh, the page sort of like this, and then I'll just drop it down to about 67% so you can see everything on there but then I'll also have another window up here doing my work so and then what so that's how I do it so so that's uh, so that basically keeps 
what that does is when you um, when you when you've completed it while while you're completing it should I say this energy starts building back up but I'll show you so let's let's just see what we've been paid so for this so in crystals sometimes as well the probably the, the shoddy thing is is sometimes the people you're trading with which are obviously virtual they'll say oh the person you did the work for only paid you 34 percent so you didn't get as much as you should do and then but then other times it will say the person that you work for was really pleased with what you did so they actually gave you 10 percent more so it's all balances out but it's obviously because again it's like this virtual world thing um, so anyway, so as you can see there, we gained 1,460 XP. So we, so now we're up to 82. We were on 80 something. We're now up to 82. So we're getting closer and closer to that level 12. Okay. So and also you got an extra 43 experience. Okay. And then we got 78 crystals in and some three crystals bonus so that takes us up to over a thousand crystals okay so that's what we got so that was for about uh what was I mean, in fact i missed what it said i think it was about 50 minutes work or something like that um because it was i think i had an hour and 49 minutes left so i put this one to 49 minutes and this one to uh an hour uh, so and so that was basically about 49 minutes work uh, but like I say you see what you could like I say you can so you can put this up as high as you want so you could put this up to 120 minutes or 100 okay so 110 minutes is the maximum you can go so you can't quite go to two hours so you can go to an hour and 50 um, but um, and then come back in an hour and 50 or like I say you can half the half your screen like I do uh, and then carry on working in another pay in another window uh, and then keep an eye on this which uh, while your energy is building because without you see without that energy you can't then use the rest of your work time um, because but if you're there clicking it you it will build up okay so we'll check this out we'll we can see what we're going to get paid for an hour of cryptocurrency. So 60 minutes work. So we got 2,318 experience. So now we're up to 84% uh, experience plus 46 as a bonus. And we got 452 Ethereum uh, and then plus 8 as a bonus. Okay, so what you would do here because we're at we're at zero at the moment so what you do here or what I would do is like I say you set your time and then basically you click start you click start and then this will go down to zero so that's why it says actually that's why it says 110 because because one energy equals one minute of course that's right so what you that's why I do I basically do uh, like six uh, like 60 on here or an hour on here and then squeeze it try and squeeze out as close to an hour on here or the other way around uh, normally obviously you'll probably want to go for the cryptocurrency using for your hour and then your crystals uh, which you need for mining uh, the slightly lower um, but anyway even that that sort of they are re these the doing these jobs is basically what uh, builds up your experience uh, obviously and your crystal re uh, reserves uh, your if you're using this it will build up your crypto coins which we'll just go and have a look at what you use for them for or what I use them for and then basically your cryptocurrencies and these like I say there's no for me there's no point in my, in using this this option to build these unless obviously you if you just want to build um bitcoin then obviously use it for that i mean normally about an hour an hour on that i think it will get you about 18 to 20 satoshis uh that's why i use this for building the premium coins so these ones which are uh basically you'll get more for uh, and then obviously if you want to you can then exchange them uh okay so 
as you can see there we've got more quests because we've uh, done jobs and stuff like that so uh, you can go and claim them so we'll just quickly go and claim them and see what we get okay so we are claiming them for five jobs and we get uh, a load of cards and obviously I've said the cards aren't very important but they do come into play for what we're going to go and see now okay so if we go into here go to my cards you'll see these are your game cards so these really come into play when you when you join because uh, you can join virtual mining groups uh, and you can uh, do this world game and things like that and that's where these really sort of come into their own because uh, you get involved in the um, Oh, that's not what I wanted to click. <laughs> this is what I think this... No. Uh, is it in here? This. The Crypto Mining War. So this is what really bring. This is where your cards really come into play. Is that Crypto Mining War. But like I say, it is an optional thing. You do not need to get involved in that. Okay, so what do I do with the cards? So, as, as I told you, this is what we're trying to build. This percentage, right? So... If you scroll down, so the lowest card I've got at the moment is like this. So you, you, so what we can do is we can upgrade him for 50 coins, right? So if we click upgrade and go upgrade, what you get is obviously, so it tells you you've upgraded the card to level 3. But it, tell, but it gives you 50 experience, which is building this card. So if we go, because he was on level 50, if we click on this guy that is at 100, it, sp it, it will spend 100 of your coins, but it will give you 100 experience. Okay, so this is basically what I use the coins for. So like I say, I don't get involved in the, the, the mining game or re anything like that, but I do use... These co uh, these cards to build up, basically level leveling them up builds your experience. So obviously you can keep doing that. Uh, if we click on a hundred, a two hundred card, that is going to basically give you two hundred experience. So now we are up to eighty five experience. So like I say, they do have a use. Okay, so that is pretty much it so the last two things I'm going to show you is one your inventory so click here this is going to tell you how many mining boosts you have how many skill points you have hacking keys trade tokens and your game game tokens okay I don't use the game tokens right so the trade tokens are really important so what you want so what you can do if you go into market this is where you can trade for other things, right? So if we, t so like, say for instance, if we wanted to, say if we want to get more trade tokens, you can click trade tokens, and then it will give you what your, it will show you what your options are on a trade. But the funny thing is, and I. Because I was looking at other things. I was looking at mining boosts and all that kind of stuff. And then I noticed that basically it says you can't do a trade without a trade token. So I thought, well, okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll look up trade tokens. And it's, and, but you can't do trade. You can't even trade for trade tokens without a trade token. So it's a bit of a catch-22 in that situation. So anyway, so what we could do here, we could get 44 trade tokens for 99 Satoshis. So that so so that means what you can then do is so you've got so it gives you tons of trade tokens right so that means you can trade once you've done that you can then trade for other things you can even trade for satoshis if you want to so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to do i'm going to trade for i'm going to trade my 99 satoshis because i don't think there's a better deal uh for yeah so what so hang on what's that hunt uh and do we 99 Satoshi 44 again 
Uh, I think that is the best that yeah so we're gonna do that so we'll get more trade tokens okay so we click that uh, what's this are you sure this cannot be undone so go yes because I my Satoshi's we can build them back up okay so we have got we've done that now so if we go back into inventory here we've got 46 trade tokens okay so now what we can do is we can go in here and we can go mining boost okay okay so we click search okay so basically you could do a mining boost um, so uh, let's have a look what can we get a, a good mining boost so I could do and I could do two my I could do 10 for well I've only got I've done 99 so I've got 215 left so 210 I could get five mining boosts okay so what was that yeah so we're gonna do that so we're gonna trade that so that means I'm only using one trade token and yes I'm basically using up all of my satoshis but that's for me that is not a problem because your mining boosts will boost your mining okay okay close that okay so now what we do is if we just cruise back back to the front so there is already a mining in play so what we can do uh, so inventory we should have five mining boosts yes so I'm I think I think we can only you have to put them into play before you start mining so like here look so you could put one on there one on, or however many you want onto there so that so as you can see at, so that will give you one mining boost will give you three hours rather than just the standard hour and 52 minutes that we're getting so if we go so we so we can boost up to so what have we got five have we got I think we've got five so say we did that we could boost up to 11 hours it would cost us 66 crystals but it means that we will actually get you know 11 hours worth of mining satoshis but obviously I, I'm not going to do that I'll probably use it on Litecoin on my Litecoin uh, and I'll probably gain my Bitcoin back uh, using uh, maybe uh, by using other means possibly just my mining or whatever anyway okay so as you can see there that has popped up again that will pop up the beat the anti bot will pop up about every half an hour unless you are a premium member premium member I think it's about uh, once an hour you can also become uh, an elite member that pop-up block is earning its money so you can put them a premium or an elite member an elite member is like one dollar a month and you will gain uh, various um, like weekly free chests and all those kind of things but obviously as always I'll always bring you these programs and show how to use them uh, without any investment you can also uh, do surveys on here and you know how I love a good survey but I'm not encouraging you to do that on here because you don't need to follow the steps I've just showed you and you will be uh, earning Litecoin building up uh, levels and stuff like that and also as well if you work at it hard enough when you get to um, if we go up here when you get to a thousand on here if you can get your power up to 1000 you will automatically become a premium member anyway okay so just bear that in mind right so that's it I basically just wanted to do a quick review on this program alone uh, I just wanted to, and I only wanted to show you as I t t uh, said basically just the things that you need to know to earn coins build up your account and then earn more coins because that at the end of the day is what it's all about like I say if you want to learn uh, other things like about the the uh, the mining uh, war the mining game and all that kind of stuff 
go and check it go and check it out if you click in click into world or click in here like I say the the mining war the you can you can uh, join other people's virtual mining pools various things like that you can go and do but like I say I'm only showing you what you need to essentially know for me it's you know a bit like I say, it's a lot like HitBits in the sense of there's loads of stuff you can do, but not all of it is required. And I'm only going to show you what you need to earn the coins. Okay, so anyway, for those of you that are new to my channel and want to learn more about how to earn cryptocurrency for free, about cloud mining sites, about crypto investments and lots of other crypto related stuff, Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my new content as it come online. And if you could smash that like button, that would be absolutely amazing. It really helps out my channel, which then helps me bring more content to you. So take care, have a great rest of your week, and I will speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.